Josh Steele, Wabash Indiana, 28 years old, 6'9, 525 bills, a twist of steel, and sex appeal, baby. And this is me. Okay, more on a serious note. My name is Josh Steele from Wabash Indiana, 28 years old, 6'9, right around 525 pounds. Okay. It's already on. Huh? It's on! Okay. This is my college graduate um, what cap, and gown. cap and gown. Um, I didn't actually walk at graduation because I couldn't get it zipped up. And I wasn't going to walk. So actually, I had it, this is what I look like from the side, and I wasn't going to do it. So the reason I didn't walk at graduation was because of that. So I missed out on a big thing because of my weight. So I guess this is my old cheerleading shirt. Um, I wore this my sophomore, junior, senior high school, and it fit good. Now, as you can tell, it's spandex. But uh, this is my leather jacket I had in high school. Um, as you can see, it's not. Uh, I would say fits too well right now. Um, turn around. It's like fat man in a little coat. <laughs> <laughs> with my with my job, I uh, have to get into numerous vehicles, big, small. And actually, this is the kind of vehicle I just actually delivered today. Um, a small, it's a cruise. Uh, but this is. What I have to do with the customer, I have to actually get in the passenger seat and you know deliver it, tell them about it and stuff. And this is what it's like when I get in it. It's uh not a this is what I got to do with the customer in the passenger seat and it really it just doesn't appealing to a customer when I'm trying to show them how to use a vehicle and I can't even fit in it so uh, yeah if I lost the weight it would uh, definitely be a big helpful thing and getting out of it is another well trying to close the door just doesn't work too well Now I'm out. Okay. And uh, obviously, I have to drive a big vehicle, but and this is mine. Even big vehicles still aren't the most remunerous for me. Can you see? I don't have the seats all the way back down. Uh, I don't have a lot of room. Clearly, my stomach hits the steering wheel, and uh, hopefully, one day it won't be like that. Mike, my sales manager, um, we have the same worked out basically when I sell cars. And yeah, when, when Josh sells a car, I mean, if it's anything but an SUV or truck, we'll just we'll go down, I'll just grab a gas ticket, go grab the car, go gas it up, get it over to clean up, take care of it. Uh, you know, Josh does a great job of what he does, but I think, you know, it's an opportunity for him to be a lot more effective and, you know, a lot more efficient at what he does here at, at Duray's and, you know, just, just help everybody out a whole lot more and, you know, be a great opportunity for him. I'm going to try one of those with wing out. With wing in it? Oh, bone enough. Which one? That's probably hot. Barbecue. 10 and 10. Is it spicy? Mm -mm. Right at barbecue. Okay. Too spicy? Mm-mm. Are those breaded? Mm-mm. 
that's the difference between those and those. And they'll burn them. Well, I know that. What? Did you try a piece of your sausage in it? No. Those are pretty good. Well, okay. Huh? <laughs> Your dad's laughing. <laughs> that was funny. Is that how you order eat them like that? Mm -hmm. I never watch you when you eat. Are you, where, where am I at? The picture looks like the camera's all over here. It's right on you. Uh, Watch this fight. Um, I'm here at my local barbershop, Center Court Barbershop. Um, right with me. Right one big thing is the chairs. Uh, and, and it's, it's a barber. It's not like they just have small chairs. It's a barber chair. Um, I have two bar rides. I, I go big, so I got you know, both Jeff and Andy. And here's me actually having to squeeze in the... Okay, you're Derek Darson. You're going to try to get your team cleared up after your coach's challenge. Oh, yeah. Same old, same old with him. Yes. And so, I got to sit here until I'm done. And you still have to use one of those. Do I? Do I have to use one of the Use the tape strips, barely. Yeah. Okay. Stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, stretch it. Is that the difference, huh? Yeah. 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 There you go, sir. Fight! Good day to this buddy. Look at those rap guys. Who understands those rap guys? I want to talk to her because she looks like a total prostitute. <laughs> How you feel after that round of racquetball? Tired. Did you get my butt whooping? That wasn't early. I was about whooping. Huh? I was about whooping. Huh? I was about. This is my reason I have my shoes tied tight. Oh yeah. One, two, one. 
Is it bright enough in here or not? Yeah. Um, this chair, uh, actually, it's kind of like a pass down. Um, we've had it. My parents had it originally. Um, I kind of took over when I was living there, sitting on it. It's broke. There's probably maybe two or three bolts in the chair that are original. The rest have all been replaced. My dad's put new pieces of wood and everything else. Um, it's kind of just you sink down in it, but. I love it. It's a big chair. Um, I probably never get rid of it. Even if I lost one, I'd probably keep it because it's very comfortable. Um, the other thing, I've been messing around with the guitar, and as you can see, my stomach is in my way to play, and I, mean, I can't. You know, feel like I'm just trying to. You know, instead of if I was didn't have my stomach, then I could play better, and it'd be a lot easier. So that'd be a big help to getting in shape. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're at fault. Um, one of the big reasons my bathroom, this is my room into my bathroom. So uh instead of going all upstairs the bathroom, I mean I have one right here. But you can tell. Um this ain't not bad, but when I'm getting in the shower, I step back and I step in. And then it's not too roomy. Um, I had to put a new shower head on to be able to kind of clear it. But when I had this shut, you know, and I mean I'm out of the shower, when I have to be there to wash my legs and stuff like that. And then now when it comes time to having to go to the restroom, like see, even small standing up, as you can see. It's quite hard, and then sitting down. This is how I'm sitting, and toilet paper's here, but there's none on it because I can't, you know, reach it while I'm sitting on the toilet. So I get up. So if I lost weight, it's a lot easier to use my own resources. Okay. This is our my kitchen our refrigerator. You can tell basically just all drinks, beer, pop, Powerades, Red Bulls. Um, I'm a Red Bull addict. Um, my sister is also. Uh, freezer's really nothing to, I mean, usually it has more frozen pizzas and Hot Pockets and stuff in it, but I haven't been to the store lately. Um, eating out quite a bit. Actually, you can turn around and on the floor, that's a... Uh, a thing we do a lot. Um, cupboards, pastas, ramen noodles. Um, I think that's I think that's about it. All we have. I have some peanut butter and 
hot sauce, some cereal. So we have a lot. Um, so I know that's one thing that probably need to change. So we help out a lot. Big bit of baby weight. My head in mm -hmm. Yeah. My head. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mindy Steele and I'm his mom. Megan Defoe, sister. And we would think this would be pretty cool if he got on here because not only would it help him and get him in shape and get him healthy, um, but I think it would also help us. Um, she has a baby and which yes i'm not still pregnant he's 13 months now but it appears as though i'm still pregnant and we kind of pardon the pun but feed off of each other as far as our eating habits and when we go out to eat and because we do go eat, out, eat out a lot. lot um so i think you know with him doing it it would motivate us to do that and with him being my son i really really want to see him get healthy um and be happy and I want to see him be able to play with his nephew and get on the floor with him. And, and I know, chase him. And I know if I get on it and uh, Chris is pushing me and giving me knowledge that he's going to be able to help them also while he's here um, to kind of get them going. So I know it can be a great opportunity. And uh, Kind of scared about that. <laughs> we, all, we, all can, uh, we all be behind each other. And I, if we all yeah. start going too, it's going to it's gonna help us. So. We're a pretty much, uh, we were just actually arguing because she's over here every day taking a nap. And, you know, we're a very close-knit family. We see each other. We're around each other a lot. And my dad so. my dad needs some help too. He's not, you know, big time overweight, but he is. So he needs some help. He's on work swing shift, so it's hard to kind of get and him. If we all get in shape, including Josh, then Elijah's going to have something to look up to as opposed to us just being fat. So Forever. The Fats family. We are the Fats family. <laughs> I'm Josh, and this is Mindy. And Mike. Oh, Megan. I just lost an eyeball. Can you replace an eyeball on this show? <laughs> and uh, hopefully you pick me. See ya. Did I pick me on? Yeah, you poked my eyeball. <laughs> Okay, well I hope you like that. And uh, again, my name is Josh Steele from Wabash, Indiana. 28 years old, six foot nine, right around 525 pounds. Um, hope you saw everything that I go through, and uh, I would love to change. My my family would love it. My, my coworkers, my friends, everybody, and I would love to spread my knowledge and everything I gain from it, and uh, help other people. And um, Chris, I hope you. Uh, Hope you see it in me and see the drive and the push I have, and uh, that I that I, I want it, but I just I need I need that push. And um, again, I'm Josh Steele, and I hope to hear from you.